The new Galaxy Note 7 puts a world of big ideas in your hands. Because to make it big, you don't just need a big smartphone. You need a smartphone that thinks big. Samsung Galaxy Note 7. In the world of technology, maintaining a strong reputation and stability is very crucial, particularly in a global market where safety and security are paramount. Competing against tech giants like Samsung, Apple, Google, Huawei, or Microsoft, or tons of other companies not only requires innovation, but also the ability to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with these top tech giant leaders without facing catastrophe and repercussions. It's very essential to protect your brand or risk significant fallout. Or you just say fucking to go AWOL like the Galaxy Note 7 did. In 2016, Samsung Galaxy Note 7 was poised to be the smartphone of the future. It had everything. Sleek design, cutting edge technology, and well, the occasional tendency to burst into flames. You know, just the usual features you'd get with a smartphone. Now see, it all started with excitement. The Galaxy Note 7 was Samsung's latest flagship, and it had the tech world buzzing. But then something went terribly wrong. And by terribly wrong, I mean clear the room, the phone's about to explode wrong. Now before we get into the fiery details, let's backtrack a little bit. You might be wondering what happened to the Galaxy Note 6. Good question. In the world of smartphones, numbers matter. And Samsung, not wanting the Note left behind, decided to skip the Note 6 entirely. They wanted the Note series to line up with their Galaxy S series. So they jumped from the Note 5 to the Note 7 to match the Galaxy S7 that had just launched earlier that year. A bold move, right? It was like the Note 7 was born to leapfrog. Unfortunately, it leaped a little too far. Now let's talk about what made the Note 7 so special, besides its uh, fiery personality. The phone was a masterpiece of a design and engineering, with a stunning 5.7 inch Super AMOLED display and an iris scanner that made you feel like a secret agent. And the S Pen that was more than just a stylus, it was, well, well, a really cool stylus, I guess. Samsung had pulled out all of the stops. The Note 7's battery used a lithium ion technology, which was, which was pretty standard in smartphones. But Samsung was so eager to pack in more power, they made the battery too tight. Inside the battery, there was something called thermal runaway. Sounds cool, right? It's not. It's basically when the battery starts that it's had enough and starts to heat up uncontrollably, this leads to a chain reaction, which then led to, well, well, you know where this is going. And so the alarm started ringing, quite literally for some unlucky users. Samsung quickly found themselves in the hot seat. They issued a recall thinking they could fix the problem, but when the replacement unit started to catch fire, it became clear that the Note 7 was not just hot, it was too hot to handle. The internet exploded with memes and jokes. I mean, who could resist? Here was a phone that needed a fire extinguisher more than a screen protect. Even airlines got in on the actions, banning the Note 7 from flights. It was like having a first class ticket to infamy. Now look, Samsung to their credit actually acted fairly quickly. They issued a global recall, halted production, and did some serious soul searching. Their engineers went back to the drawing board, dissecting every detail to understand what went wrong. It was a major hit to their reputation and their wallet. Samsung lost billions in the process. But here's the thing about tech giants, they didn't go down easily. Samsung learned from their mistakes, they redesigned their battery testing protocols and introduced an 8 point battery safe check, which sounds more thorough than people's new year's resolutions. Yet the damage was done, Samsung's reputation took a major hit, and trust isn't easy to rebuild, especially when the last product was literally too hot to handle. People actually started to question Samsung's quality control, wondering if their next phone might have some unintended features. It wasn't just about losing money, it was about losing faith. But Samsung wasn't ready to throw in the towel. In mid-2017, they made a very surprising move. They released the Galaxy Note Fan Edition. The Fan Edition was a reworked Note 7 with a smaller, much safer battery and all the features that made the original so desirable minus the impromptu fireworks. It was Samsung's way of saying, we know you loved it, and now you can love it safely. The Galaxy Note 7 Fan Edition was actually a very big hit and was very appreciated by the fans and supporters of Samsung. To reclaim some of the goodwill that they had lost and it showed even after a colossal failure that they were still willing to listen to the consumers and make things right. Now see, now, now the Fan Edition wasn't gonna win any awards or best phone of the year or anything like that, but for the people that actually got it and was able to experience that phone, it was like owning a piece of history, just without spontaneous combustion. So there you have it guys, the rise and fall of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. It's just a simple reminder that even in the world of tech, no matter how big of a company you are, you can still stumble, but it doesn't matter about how you felt, it matters if you can get back up. Catch you on the next one.